From obstruction to restoration, the carotid endarterectomy process. Atherosclerotic plaque formation begins with a small injury to the endothelium, often caused by hypertension, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, or smoking. This allows cholesterol to migrate into the thickness of the vessel wall. Cholesterol is converted to an oxidized form as a result of a series of biochemical reactions, which is an inflammatory signal to blood cells. Monocytes, which normally move freely in the bloodstream, migrate to the vessel wall and transform into macrophages, which begin to actively absorb cholesterol molecules. As a result of this process, they turn into large foam cells. As the foam cells become saturated with large amounts of cholesterol, they die and release their contents. Thus, cellular detritus, large numbers of foamy macrophages, collagen fibers, and cholesterol crystals form the bulk of the atherosclerotic plaque. Smooth muscle cells transform into fibroblasts and migrate to the top of the plaque, helping to stabilize its cap. The process of forming an atherosclerotic plaque is usually long and takes years. This process narrows and hardens the arteries, leading to reduced blood flow and can result in serious health issues. One of the most serious complications is acute cerebrovascular accident. Carotid endarterectomy is one of the most effective treatment options. The surgeon starts with a small cut along the front edge of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Step by step, they carefully separate the tissues to minimize the risk of damaging muscles, nerves, or blood vessels. Then they progress to the area where the common carotid artery branches into the internal and external carotid arteries, a common site for atherosclerotic narrowing. After clamping the common and external carotid arteries, the surgeon measures the pressure in the internal carotid artery and then clamps it too. Next, they open the artery at the site of the plaque. Using a special elevator, the surgeon separates the plaque from the arterial wall. and removes it from the lumen of the vessel, either in one piece or in smaller sections. After flushing the artery, they suture the arteriotomy, either with direct suturing or by reinforcing it with a patch. Before removing the clamps, they ensure all air and debris are cleared to prevent embolism. After that, the surgeon removes the clamps, starting with the external carotid artery, then the common carotid artery, and finally the internal carotid artery. Most patients recover without complications, but some may experience difficulty swallowing, hoarseness, or blood pressure fluctuations for a short time post-operation. This procedure plays a crucial role in restoring proper blood flow and significantly lowering the risk of cerebrovascular accidents.